All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am back. Sorry about that. I uh, had to uh, take an important phone call. So anyway, let's continue on here with our uh, Let's Play as Arabia on the Warmonger Deathmatch. And we'll uh, take a look at things here. Zulu Coop and Belgrade. Awesome. Belgrade is indeed a banana republic. Fantastic. Well, it's not surprising. I mean, it borders on uh, two uh, major nations here. Anyway, let's make a proposal. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's find something that everybody enjoy. So Rome, France, and the Aztecs will be pissed about that. Seriously? Everyone's going to be angry if we propose anything? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, uh, let's see here. Napoleon kind of has de facto control of the World Congress, unfortunately. Considering doing a trade embargo against the Zulu. Yeah, let's push that through. Nobody likes the Zulu to begin with. It'll have my votes and Rome's votes. Brants might not care, or they might shoot it down. May purchase units with faith. All right, let's take a really quick look at what we can purchase with faith. Let's get some more missionaries out for now. Let's get our dudes home. Not sure why I sent them down there. Cool. Next turn. Slowly bring all of our dudes back home. Let's actually try to do this a little bit quicker here. Let's go up that way. Ideology adopted by somebody else. France has done order. All right, so. We can go order and we'll be safe. We can still uh, get the benefits of a spaceship victory. Although we don't have the factories, which is quite problematic. Let's keep pushing our religion on other people. Rome likes our proposal. Very good. Mombasa has declared war. Justice. So, where is Mombasa? Oh, Mombasa's all the way over here. Well, there's Zulu allies again. Wonderful.
Let's hold off a turn. Go ahead and get these guys up there. These guys up here. Get these guys. Oh, do we no longer have open borders with him? They require wine. We don't have wine. Let's start spreading some religion here. So we can actually spread our religion all the way through the Roman Empire and it's not going to really piss them off. So, we want our open borders back with Rome. Oh, it's uh, slowing getting our troops home. Poco offero a te considerandum. Don't want it that badly, though. Actually, I think that was only 25 gold. I probably should have done it. Salve. Oh, dear. <laughs> he really wants Shaka okay, to it die. Is. Yeah, this is actually not too terrible of a deal. Now that I look at it, I just saw the 25 and I'm like, no! It's actually a pretty good deal. Granted, I wish you would just give them to me, but, uh, oh. Oh, Belgrade is actually going to fall. That's not good at all. Let's uh, see if I can save Belgrade from their stupidity. Let's see if I can save the Banana Republic of Belgrade, people. There we go. Now they're my buddy. Alright, so eventually, just on its own, it's going to uh, switch over and it's going to be Islam as its uh, regular religion. Let's move our dudes over here now, and let's spread some more Islam. Sure, let's keep that up until one of us backstabs one another. Tillis Court's actually doing quite well <laughs> for itself. Almost as big as Paris. Interesting. All right, good. We have plenty of happiness at the moment. Damascus has grown. Medina. Medina's actually lagging behind in a really big way here. I'm going to have to start sending some uh, food caravans over to them. Get those guys healed up. Let's go ahead. These guys over yonder. Take a look. Okay, so we do have got some stuff there. We need to uh, catch up on our cultural buildings, but science buildings are still way more important at the moment. Is it a fact? Right, and nine turns until. 
Let's go ahead and let's grab a seaport. Or do we want to do the opera house first? How about we do a seaport and then we start buying up opera houses? We'll do walls at some point too. Not sure if it's going to be after that or what. But yeah, we need a place to uh, start stocking our uh, great uh, artists, great works and whatnot. These dudes over to defend Athena. And we'll start... Ah, there's so many things that I need to... Uh, need to spend gold on. And these bastards took here from me. Alright, so apparently we're competing for all kinds of city-states here. Great. Well, I could just grab Zanzibar and Monaco. Those appear to be uncontested. Just is almost back down to new. Yeah, that's good. So if this nonsense happens with Belgrade too many more times, I may just uh, give up on them, declare them a banana republic, and wash my hands of them of trying to be their ally altogether. Let's see. What was the previous trade route? The previous trade route was to go to Mecca. That's handy, because we do need the food in the capital. I want another trade route to go to Medina, though, because it's falling behind. Got some really weird expansion paths, too. Just put those guys to sleep for now. That's an interesting placement right here, so... Let me tell you guys about the Chateau. The Chateau is uh, Paris's unique uh, building, their unique improvement. And uh, what it is, is it's able to be placed next to a luxury resource. So here's the thing, though. They don't get to benefit directly from this luxury resource because I control both of them there. But they're able to build chateaus next to them, which means that this little city right here gets a little bit of culture anyway so kind of interesting definitely a little uh nice little culture generating city for them don't have any city-states close enough to me to uh, demonstrate uh, abusing great generals, I guess. Oh well. It's too bad. I don't want to show you guys that, but I guess I won't for now. Alright, what do we got here? We've got a cannon that needs to become our first artillery piece. At least I think it's our first artillery piece. Yep. Cool. We can has big guns! Park that sucker in Medina and then uh, we'll be safe for a while. The French do have an absurd amount of riflemen though. Excuse me. Now here's one of the problems I'm facing, the dilemma I'm facing actually is that I would like to expand my empire, and the most logical place to start with is the French. But 
they've been a good neighbor so far. Shaka has been Shaka's a lot more terrifying than that. So actually, let's see. Can we send him after Shaka again? Tu disais? Too much of a wuss to do that. Um, how about if I send him on uh, Augustus? You want to do that anyway, right? I'll definitely give you Embargo the Zulu. But... He's asking way too much gold here. I mean, is, that's unreasonable. I'll give him like five gold per turn. Okay, well, screw that crap. Let's see if I can get this guy to uh, their war on him. Way to make that deal work. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's not a good start. All right, let's see if Shaka will go to war with Napoleon. <laughs> oh, Shaka. Oh, I've got so much fucking coca, too. You know what, Chaka? I have some free coca. <laughs> All right, we've got Shaka to go to war with the Napoleon here. That's, that's hilarious that I can pull Shaka's strings so damn easily. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Napoleon's like 25 gold and maybe per turn and I'll consider it. And Shaka's like, give me two gold. I'm good. Bonjour. So unfortunately, Napoleon Continue. needs not uh, any of the uh, coca. Somebody please take all this freaking coke off my hand, please. Yo, Caesar, you like chocolate? Here, have some chocolate. I don't want your stupid horses or your stupid iron. Just give me money for my chocolate. And unfortunately, that's all we're going to get out of that because there's not enough civilizations in the world left to trade with. <laughs> all right. Go ahead and uh, start improving our dead tundra tiles here. Rome has denounced France. I don't want to put like a spy on a uh, border city of France to see if uh, the Zulu are actually doing anything whatsoever with this war here. I might do that. Pop into espionage. Apparently we just did a coup recently. Let's see, it's Troy. Troyers is the uh, city on the border. Yeah, let's uh, send a spy over there. Belgrade election has been rigged. Very good. Build that. Caravan. Where did the caravan go before? Orleans. So that's somewhat profitable. The Orleans or Attila's court. Oh. Losing the religion race here. Let's actually uh, let's relocate this caravan to Mecca. 
And then let's uh, feed some food to uh, Medina here. Let's do that. I've been meaning to grow Medina for a while. Have any aluminum or oil whatsoever? I really need to look for oil, actually, guys. Something I really need to look for, because uh, Arabians benefit quite a bit from it. Vatican City has declared war on Shaka. Uh huh. Where is Vatican City? Oh, it's. Yeah, Vatican City's probably going down. And let's go ahead and let's get a uh, continue with a food trade route to Medina. Help it out a little bit in its food situation here. Poco fero a te considerando. Oh, I don't really care if you have open borders with me. Alright, we're now number four in terms of soldiers, so that means that Rome probably has a bigger army than us as well. So, yeah, the big players are one, two, rather, one, two, Excuse me. Little buggers out in the front lines. Just shift selecting a bunch of techs and we'll light bulb the radio. We've got a new spy. Excellent. Let's go ahead and pop our new spy into Belgrade for now. Piece on alert. This artillery picks up. And I suppose we should get all these camel archers upgraded to uh, proper uh, proper war machines. And I think I'm uh, going to try wooing Zanzibar here. They want me to discover a natural wonder. They have some aluminum too, actually. Nice. We'll have uh, biology in a few turns here. That'll be very nice. And it is time to choose the ideology. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look. At this time, I will be accepting your input if uh, you think I should go for a particular ideology, and the one person who's there has left. Cool. So, no input. France has gone order. 
They are content with it. The Zulus are pissed the fuck off. Uh, France? I think France has massive cultural pressure, probably. So, uh, let's, uh, let's actually take a look at influence by player. We're unknown to the French because they have ridiculous amounts of culture. So let's take a look at France. Yeah, they were actually on the verge of influencing me here. Influence. They'll be influential over us in one turn, assuming tourism remains unchanged. That sucks. All right, well, that's uh, definitely something to keep in mind. I've been neglecting my culture enough that uh, France has got a lead on me. Yokes. Well, let's uh, see then. That has me leaning towards order. Except freedom. Freedom's the one I would prefer to go for, but I'd like to be a bit more aggressive too. So order might be the best bet. I could go for autocracy. That's a possibility. Let's take a look at autocracy here, folks. Wounded military units do 25% more damage than normal. Mobilization, gold purchasing of uh, units reduced by 33%. Military city-states grant units twice as often when at war with a common foe. So basically get Belgrade on your side and they'll give you uh, units twice as much. Futurism, 250 uh, plus tourist when all with all known civs when a great artist or a musician. Okay, cool. And then the uh, one that helps with spying. So if you're warmongering, you might be behind. And fortified borders gives happiness to castles, arsenals, and military bases. And universal health care, which is pretty much on everyone. Militarism gives happiness. So basically, this is a lot about happiness for having warfare. Quantity of strategic resources increased by 100%, plus 5 food, and plus 5 science and capital with third alternative. That's powerful. Total war, that's also powerful. And about diplomacy. Well, I've already done a playthrough with uh, Autotocracy and Gunboat Diplomacy for a diplomatic win. Honestly, I don't see any of these guys going for freedom, which it could be advantageous. Like, I did play tall. I'm playing the way I usually play for a freedom science victory. Um... Just not sure. That's not the strongest when it comes to warfare. And frankly, I would like to uh, lay down the smack on the French a little bit. Oh, and also I get two free uh, tenants as opposed to orders one free tenant. Uh, Hero of the people. Great, great people increased by 25%. So that's the same as avant-garde. Skyscrapers. So this reduces the cost of purchasing buildings. Here's the problem with this, is that uh, their big one here, the workers' faculty, requires factories and coal, and I have none of that. In fact, the coal makes coal resources right all the way over there. Let's, uh, let's take a little quick trip here, see if I can find some coal for myself. I'm just going to gate around here, take a look at the known world, see if there's any coal. There's coal in Kiev, however that is undiscovered by Kiev and it's currently an ally of France. So I'm playing tall. I'm mostly concerned with the diplomatic penalties. Uh, 
saying, you know what, guys, I think freedom it is. Screw the diplomatic penalties. We'll have balls of steel. All right. We've made our freedom bed. And now we're going to uh, go for every little bit of happiness we can here because we're going to be super unhappy in a few turns.